What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Here is my review on Stranger Things Season 3. Stranger Things Season 3 is one of the best 80s love letter in any sort of media that I've ever seen. From the great 80s music to the clothing, throwback brands, movies, they nailed it every they nailed everything. I'm an 80s baby, and this took me back to my childhood in the best ways. The basic plot is about revenge. The alien, believed to be destroyed in season 2, is back to kill Elle. It has enlisted citizens of Hawkins in order to kill Elle. It kidnaps citizens, they explode in a gruesome way, and become slime, meat, and bones, not for the faint of heart. They crawl towards this alien creature that is made up of citizens and it becomes part of it and becomes bigger and bigger. All the kids have grown up, it's summertime now. Everything seems normal and calm in Hawkins, Indiana. Till this alien gets a new host, one of the new characters introduced in season two, which I will not spoil. This is the point everything goes to hell and strange things start happening. Lights go out in Indiana, magnetism no longer works, citizens start acting strange. Russians seem to be the cause of the portal reopening and bringing mayhem once again to Hawkins. Hawkins itself is a more open and more involved that in the previous seasons, we only seen a hint of the town. Now we see more of the town from the mall to pool area, open field, and etc. There are also more actors, actresses introduced on screen. The new characters are all great. The acting is great throughout from everyone involved, top notch. The relationships created in the previous seasons are stronger than ever. Let's just say that the hinted at couples are now couples, which is great to see. I really love that. One thing that surprised me is that Dustin is off on his own adventure for a major part of the season. He really doesn't show up with the rest of the crew for a very huge part of the season. He's off with the, dude, the douche Jack that in the previous season helped all the kids save Hawkins. He tags along with Dustin, along with his co-worker, which is a very likable character. Also Dustin's little sister, which is very cute, and along with Dustin, add humor to the season. This season made me smile, laugh, and giggle more than the previous seasons. Also had huge highs and no lows that I could think of. The action is bigger and better, more emotional moments. The scenery, cinematography is the best that I've ever seen. It feels more like a movie than a show this time. The ending was strong and very epic, also very explosive, pun intended. Two major characters die. One has been there since season one. Sad to see that character go. I really did. There is a post credit scene that hints at what season 4 could be, which hasn't been announced yet. I will not, I will not spoil the post credit scene. My final thoughts are, I loved the beginning to end. I laughed, I got hyped, excited, I shed tears. I highly recommend it to everyone that loves sci-fi. Even if you were not into season 1 and 2, you might just like this season since it's bigger, badder, more grown than it's ever been. In the comments below, post your thoughts if you've seen the season, no spoilers. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like, subscribe to the channel, share this video on all your social media. If you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Thank you all for watching. I'm out. Peace. I cannot wait for season four which has not been announced yet.